The digital warning signs are up, but some drivers are still dreading a commute without westbound access to the Kenmore leg, which runs between I-77 and I-277. Oh, man, that's going to cause a lot of backup traffic and no good, that's for sure. That's going to be some difficult traffic trying to get around and get where we got to go and everything. ODOT's project, which will cost about $10 million, will repair and resurface a two-mile stretch of the Kenmore leg. Basically, it's going to be like driving on brand new pavement for a stretch of roadway that has a memory surface for about eight to ten years and it needs it. The closure starts Monday morning and will last until early June. In addition, as this map shows, three ramps that feed the Kenmore leg will be shut down. ODOT passed out about 75 flyers to warn businesses along Kenmore Boulevard about the changes and detours. It's going to be a, a lot, especially my suppliers coming from other state but they just have to find a different road. Some drivers question the plan and believe ODOT should keep at least one westbound lane open. I think they should probably do it a little differently, separate it a little bit, take time, fix it, keep roads open. But ODOT spokesperson Justin Chesnick tells me the project is cheaper and traffic hassles reduced by shutting down the Kenmore leg one direction at a time. He says drivers just need to be ready. You give it the first, you know, seven to ten days, you know, expect some extra travel time, so give yourself extra time in the morning.